Hi, first graders. We are on Knowledge 2, Lesson 6, Control Center, the brain. Our first vocabulary word is brain. Say brain. Brain is the command center of the body that controls how you think and move. The next one is nerves. Say nerves. Nerves are thin fibers that connect your brain to all parts of your body. And the last one is nervous system. Say nervous system. The nervous system is a system made up of the brain, spine, and nerves that makes it possible for people and animals to sense the world around them. Hi students, as your teacher reads to you today, you are listening with your ears. You are seeing a picture of me, Dr. Wellbody, with your eyes. Your face might be smiling, but your ears and eyes could not work if it were not for your brain. Your mouth and face muscles could not smile, and without your brain working, you cannot understand or learn. In fact, your brain controls everything your body does, your thoughts, your movements, your memory, and your five senses. Your brain also controls your moods and feelings, whether you feel happy, sad, or angry, for example. Your brain is inside your skull. The hard bones of your skull protect the brain's soft tissue. Your brain looks like this. It is wrinkly and it is wet. Your brain is not very big. It could be held in your two hands. It weighs about three pounds, so about as much as a big dictionary. Your brain tells your muscles what to do and how to move. Messages travel back and forth from your brain to other parts of your body by moving up and down your spinal cord with lightning speed. Attached to the spinal cord are thin fibers called nerves. Your nerves go to every part of your body. Your brain, spine, and nerves make up your entire nervous system. Let's pretend that you are playing soccer. One of your teammates takes control of the ball from the other team and kicks the ball toward you. When you see the ball flying in your direction, your brain sends a message down your spinal cord to your nerves. Your nerves send a message to your muscles in less than a second to help you move and kick the ball. Goal! Your brain is made of as many as a billion cells. The cells in your brain send millions of messages every single second to each other and to the rest of your body. The cells send messages back and forth through branches that connect one cell to another. Different parts of your body receive the messages. Your brain sends messages even while you are asleep to help you breathe and to help you dream. Your brain gets messages about the world from your five senses through organs called sense receptors. Here are the sense receptors and what they can control. Eyes, sight, ears, hearing, skin, touching, mouth and tongue, taste, and nose, smell. When you watch a cloud changing shape in the sky, hear a fire truck zooming by, lick an ice cream cone, pet a kitten's soft fur, or smell cookies baking, your senses and your brain are working together. There are three parts to our brains. They are the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. Each part has a different job to do. Your cerebrum at the top of your head is the biggest part of your brain. It controls things like seeing, hearing, thinking, speaking, remembering, and moving. Your cerebellum at the back of your head controls balance and coordination. Stand up and try to balance on one foot without holding on to anything. Go ahead. Can you do this for a long time, do you think? Your cerebellum is helping you. It helps you move different muscles together in coordination to do things like catch a baseball, dance, or write. Your brain stem connects your brain to your spinal cord. It controls things your body does without you having to think about them like breathing and the beating of your heart. Now, aren't you glad you have that very important organ called a brain? Here's a rhyme about it that we can all learn. Without a brain, where would I be? I could not move or think or see or write my name or count to three. In fact, I just would not be me without my trusty brain. In sun or wind or rain, I'm glad I have a brain. The next time we meet, we're going to talk about some icky things. They are everywhere around us, and they can make us really sick. 
They're called harmful germs. But we will also learn about some very smart and famous germ fighters who figured out ways to zap those nasty germs. Tune in next time to find out how these germ-blasting heroes have made life safer for you and me. Hey, you can go ahead and click on the Google form to answer the questions about today's read aloud.